Good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 9th of July. Now, what I thought I would do today is touch a little bit on the awakening process. Now, I've got videos on the Great Awakening. I did um, recommend one that you go watch on YouTube the other day called The Great... Oh, no, it's called The Awakening. Very good documentary. Go check it out. Um, <clears throat> there just seems to be a lot going on at the moment. Now, we know we're in the middle of a giant shift of energy. Um, I even watched a... A lot of you might know Sonia Chuckett. It's C-H-O-Q, I think her name is, Chuckett, Sonia Chuckett. She's an intuitive... Um, or she's a very sensitive person. She's an empath. She's got a great channel. Go check her out, guys. Um, and she was also talking about the shift. So we know this shift is going on. We know there's big changes. Everyone's having to move into their, well, their six senses, their awarenesses as people waking up. We've already pretty much done it. If you're on my channel, I'm guessing that you're pretty intuitive and you're in tune with your feelings, your emotions, things that you hear, you're you're already there. Um, of course, we can grow and learn. We talk about that all the time here on my channel. But I just wanted to touch on all these little ailments and things that we're currently experiencing. Um, I've been talking for probably three months, I would say, it is about my knee. Uh, I know, Louise, you're really struggling as well. And Jen, you and I seem to be going through the same experience together now if anyone wants to go check out jen's um i won't say it on here because i'll probably take it off jen's um comment to me i think it was yesterday's video about what's happening with her knee it's very interesting go check it out you're pretty much not getting to the bottom of yours either um i had a really rough night last night i was up till two in the morning and my knee was just pulsating and throbbing like a real abnormal feeling there's something really abnormal about it um nothing is showing up in my mris my ultrasounds i ended up having a baker's cyst that burst but something caused that. We don't know what caused it. So I'm sort of here three months on and it's almost, I keep saying to my husband, it's like this is invisible to the naked eye, whatever's going on. And I did talk about my girlfriend that did the healing on me and I shared that with you guys in case that helps you too. And I know, Louise, you're doing some natural healing too. Um, we're getting better results with the natural healing is what I'm saying. So if you've got bad backs, ankles, knees, you know, maybe these are the avenues because I don't think the medical world can work a lot of these things out anymore. They just want you on the bandwagon of taking their drugs and all that sort of stuff. We know that because they always push the anti-inflammatories, blah, blah, blah. And half the time they don't even work, do they? Um, so she worked on that stepping forward with the ascension process, my healing my girlfriend that did the healing and it all really resonated with a lot of you guys as well so i thought that was really interesting so i'm going to see her again on wednesday so if i get any info i'll share it with you guys uh, look i'm just using me as an example guys um i know a lot of you guys are going through similar things with your hips your backs your knees your feet your ankles all of these things which are about movement forward so i don't know for some reason we're in this little bit of a holding pattern at the moment um I guess it is a little confusing if you think about life in general. It's a little confusing as to where we're all heading if these people don't wake up. Like I say to you, in Australia, no one's doing anything. And their lives are just being taken from them. So we do have a lot of questions around what's currently going on. You know, is this more, is this another part of the ascension process? Because when our, I always talk about a lot of us here have gone through our dark nights of the soul. We've gone through trauma. We've gone through a spiritual awakening of some kind, usually, not always, look, not always, sometimes you just wake up, I guess, but majority of us have felt intense pain in our bodies where we felt like our soul was just smashing into like a thousand pieces. But then we came out the other side. It's the phoenix rising, the caterpillar into the butterfly. We talk about it all the time on this channel. Um, so that's what's happening at the moment. I feel that we've got a lot of questions around this ascension process and what it's actually doing to our physical bodies. So I thought I would come on today. Um, I always tell you guys too about that Louise L. Hay book. It's very good. Is it Heal Yourself or something like that? Can Heal Your Soul? <laughs> Sorry, I always get it wrong. Everyone knows Louise L. Hay. Her book talks about the body ailments and it's it's very, very good. And it you could look up knees. And, of course, it's about stepping forward. Shoulders is usually about hanging on. Backs are about carrying those burdens, like we talked about the backpack and that yesterday. So I thought I'm going to pull a few cards today. I might even come on still and do a 
prediction reading as well, guys. But I really wanted to focus on helping you guys and, and even myself as well about what the hell is going on and what is currently happening in our bodies. So I'm going to pull a few cards today because I think we need some answers. Um, I can also um, ask the guides as well. Um, so let me know if you guys are still struggling with these things because it's a it's really mysterious, isn't it? So let's see if I'm gonna pull these. Sorry, guys, I forgot to show you the Foxfire cards. These are beautiful, these cards. Um, and let's see if we can get any answers. Oh, the beauty of age. Maybe it is just age <laughs> getting older. We often do talk about that, guys. The beauty of age. And when you think of the beauty of age, you're still beautiful. We well, have that because you have your wisdom and your knowledge and your, um, well, you just, I think also you you react differently to things. Like things that used to bother us when we were like 25 certainly wouldn't bother us now. We'd just go, Pfft. because we have a completely different understanding of how to navigate people and have a, how to navigate this world. I mean, look where we're at. Most of us here are freedom fighters. We've even stood up to our government. Oh, leave behind what is no longer you. That's, we haven't had that one before. That's gorgeous. Look, she's moving forward. You look at the dress. It's got a real flowing energy. It's beautiful. It's like she's walking through into another mm, another world, I guess. We would call it Terra Bella. Oh, see, that's about being anchored to the past again. Maybe that's what's going on with us, guys. We just can't let that last bit go. Leave behind what is no longer you. Beautiful. Well, we have left a lot of that behind. When we um, when we escaped Clown World and journeyed to Terra Bella, we left a lot of things behind, didn't we? Um, and that's when we started to feel freer in the body, more relaxed. Um, we got out of those tight feelings of resistance and angst and pain and fear. We don't we don't stay there anymore. But obviously, there's something that we still have to leave behind, guys. Rare knowledge. Interesting. That's interesting. Would you say that fox there is a mask? Maybe that's like our social mask, guys. We're still like the fox. We get a lot of fox energy in these cards. I know they're fox fire cards. But rare knowledge means that we have the knowledge, but we it's like we put a mask on in order to blend in, isn't it? See, that's an autumn energy. That's that change of seasons. Shedding the leaves to protect yourself, meaning the trees, but we protect ourselves too by probably, I would say, putting the fox um, mask on. So we do have a social, well, it's not really a social mask. It's a mask of protection is what I'm getting. We have a mask of protection um, when we're out and about because we still blend in, but we know we're different. See, we know we're different. We know we're different. We think different. We feel different. Uh, we're very, very intuitive. We had an incredible sixth sense. Um, <clears throat> gosh, the other day I was scrolling through <laughs> something in that that little boy out of that movie, Sixth Sense. If you haven't seen Sixth Sense, go watch it. It's a fantastic movie. It's so brilliant. Where he says, I see dead people. <laughs> well, we talk to dead people often and often we get messages. I know a lot of you are psychics and things out there so we can talk about these things. Um you know, and that is being a little different. Most people aren't very comfortable with psychics, empaths, sensitives. People don't like, and this is what I've gathered over the years. You guys let me know what you've picked up on with people. But people don't like the thought that you can read them. They don't like it. If you call them out for being in a bad mood or something like that, it makes them really uncomfortable because it's like, well, how did she know that? And it can rub people up the wrong way. Not our fault. We just do it because we can. All right, oh, I'm still getting this card today, guys. Sorry, I forgot what I was showing you. I'm getting some angel answers today. All right, <clears throat> big happy changes. See, we're still got to stay in our power and stay uplifted. And, and just look at the rainbow energy coming out of the sides there and like all around her, like the beautiful aura of the rainbow and the light shining from the head chakra, you know? It's important that we keep, I suppose, being strong, positive, um, big changes. Maybe our knees and everything will get better soon. Communicate clearly. I think we got that the other day as well. 
communicate clearly. And you know, that's interesting because they're dolphins, aren't they? I'm positive, they look like dolphins. When you think of that dolphin energy, they talk a lot about dolphins and sea creatures and things underwater having the vibrational communication. It's that <laughs> if you think of a dolphin, that's how they kind of communicate. They communicate through vibration and frequency. And see, this could be getting back to, as I've told you guys a lot, we're going to start to open up more to telepathy. I talk about it a lot. I know it sounds bizarre, but I've told you that I do have it with my son occasionally. Um, more when he was little, not so much now. Um, but his life spirit. Oh, I've got to get this one. It fell by itself. So I think that our communication methods are going to really start to change for everyone, not just for us. Um, okay, what have we got here? Oh, ask your angels. So that's what I was doing last night when I was in the lounge room and my knee was pulsating i kept asking my angels why are we going through this because i know it's not just me i know it's a lot of you guys too no it's not all of us but a lot of us are going through something physically in our body that is becoming quite debilitating and somehow we have to find ways to move forward from it so i've been actually asking my angels to help guide me I mean, I've got pretty strong guides that talk to me. I know a lot of you do as well. You get very good guidance. And guidance can be anything, guys. It's not just hearing someone talking to you that whispers in your ear. It's about what are you feeling? What are you sensing? What are you knowing? You know, what are you picking up on? Listen to your gut. That's what I'm getting there. Let's do a couple of soul expression cards, guys. Let's see if we can get anything. And see what these, see what all this waking up body, I guess you could, I guess you could really call it resistance because that's pretty much what it is, isn't it, guys? Well, the sun's shining today. It's still windy, but the sun's shining, so that's positive. You can see all the reflection in my glasses. Oh, God. Well, something's flying around the room today. You guys keep seeing that. I keep seeing it out the corner of my eye. In the moment, I'm in my body, grounded, conscious, and aware in this current moment. Always get it, don't we? We always get living in the now, being in the current moment, enjoying where you are, not moving ahead, not worrying about the future, not living in the past, but staying very grounded. So again, we get the message of yet again, living in the moment. That's how you stop those um, feelings in your body. Oh God, these are turning around by themselves. Angels. I with love and gratitude ask the angels for, so dot, 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 see that there? So we've got to ask the angels for what we want. And there's so many things. Let me know down below what you guys really want. Like, what do you guys really want? Sometimes I think about it and I think, yeah, of course we want freedom. We want our lives back. But you also want to live um, without pain and suffering, <laughs> without our ailments. I mean, that's a big one, obviously. But, you know, what else do we want? Do we want everybody to get on? We don't want all this division and separation anymore, do we? So let me know what you guys, what what you feel, what we need to ask the angels for. You know, just like that card, ask the angels. You know, it's like, I guess it's like praying. If you think of that kind of image, praying for change, praying for relief in our bodies, maybe. See, we're not carrying the backpacks anymore. So this is where it gets confusing about what is going on in our like lower bodies, the lower half of our bodies. Uh, inner knowing. There is an inner knowing inside of you. It's communicating with you. Listen, you are correct. All right. So if you get any messages or anything, guys, listen to it. Know that it's true. Trust your body. Trust your intuition. Trust your guidance and go with it. Just we've got to learn to listen more to what, what what we're being guided to, I guess. Um, hang on a minute, guys. Let me see if there's anything else to finish this off about this awakening. I'm getting the word very troubled. We're very troubled. And I'm getting, of course, I'm getting that song by... <laughs> we always get Fleetwood Mac, don't we, guys? Um, is it Fleetwood Mac? I think I'm in trouble. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, uh, ooh. Oh, is that them? No, that's not them. I don't know. Who sings that song, Trouble? Um, I think it is Fleetwood Mac, isn't it? Anyway, I'm getting that. We're very troubled. 
We're troubled about pretty much everything. We're troubled about the way we've been treated. We're troubled about the hurts. We're troubled about our past pains. We're troubled about the future and where it's headed. So I'm just getting this word troubled at the moment. Um, hang on. God, and the gods are showing me. <laughs> oh, we get weird things on here. They're showing me us fishing. They're, they're saying what you've got to do is like put up the sign now, gone fishing. You know how they always joke about businesses put that little sign on their door, gone fishing, closed for the day. You know, well, that's what we've got to do. Not literally, you don't have to go fishing. You can if you love fishing, but what they're saying is you've got to have time out. We've got to have time out. Um, I'm getting the gone fishing sign and they're showing us on the bank of a river with a fishing rod, just um, throwing in our line and just reeling in their line. We're not even getting any nibbles or bites, but it's like we don't even care because it's about listening to the birds, listening to the trees, slowing down our mind, listening to the water flowing past. Um, that's the image the guides are giving me. This is what we've got to do. We've got to calm the mind. We've got to learn better ways to calm the mind and find that inner peace. Uh, look, we're pretty good at it. Most of the time we're pretty good at it. But I guess too what the guides are saying, um, we're all pretty busy. Everybody lives a pretty busy life. Um, and maybe that's why they're separating it from the top half of the body to the bottom half of the body. Like in our minds, we're living a fairly simple life, but maybe physically we're still very busy doing a lot of the showing me like the running around, like the little legs going like this. Everybody's like doing too much um, still. We've got to slow it, it, the ent entire body structure down, the guides are saying. That's why sitting on a chair, fishing on the side of a riverbank is a good visual because you're sitting in a chair. You're slowing your life down. This is very important for us. And that's just an analogy. You could do anything that you want. But the fishing is a good one because often you'll sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours with not even one nibble, but you're still taking all your surrounds. You're still looking at the beauty of the water, the little fish that might be jumping out there, the little dragonflies flying in between the reeds, things like this, simple things. That's just an image that the guides are giving me. All right, let's keep going. And it's saying that we're still wearing the burdens of the world. We're still, as people who are awake, this is you guys, me, anyone who's awake on this channel who is starting to or is seeing through all the BS garbage and lies, we always call it, um, we're carrying the burdens of the world. But it's showing me that it's almost like we've got, you know when you wear go skateboarding or rollerblading or something, you wear those knee covers to protect your knees. It's like we've got one of those, well, and elbows, elbows, like all this protection on. It's saying we've got this protection on and we're carrying the burdens for everybody. But now we can undo the Velcro and kind of take these things off um, because we're not going to get injured. This is, it's like trust. We're getting back to trust. I know this is a strange analogy. Just go with me, guys. It's about trusting that you're not going to fall, trusting you're not going to get injured, trusting um, that you're not going to graze your elbow or graze your knee, not literally, but this is just personally. Um, so I'm getting that we're carrying the burdens of the world at the moment. We're feeling like we're having to hold things up a lot. You know, it's like, not the burdens of the backpack. This is very different. This is holding up the light energy um, using our strength. It feels like we've got a lot of this, but we're not trusting. So we've put on all our like safety, probably even a helmet as well, they're saying. It's like, this is why we've still got things stuck in our body because we're not fully trusting. Um, I'm going to pull a happiness card around this because that's what I'm getting. We're not trusting that the, the shift is happening and that the awakening is actually real. And somewhere in our psyche, the guides are saying we're not trusting. We're not, we're, and, and they're almost saying the guides and the, um, they're saying to me, we've got to hand it over to them now. Hand it over to them, guys. It's not our burden to carry. We have to trust. We have to trust that it's unfolding. People are waking up. Oh, I need my glasses. Oh, where are they? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to put my glasses. Oh, my God. I lose everything. Do you guys lose everything? 
Um, okay, and we're getting that beautiful little leaf. Oh, this suits, doesn't it? Give up control. Understand that disappointment is a result of false expectations. Mm. There you go. Understand that disappointment is a result of false expectations. I'm going to pull a couple more of these because trust is a big issue. We keep getting it all the time. Trust. Yeah, see, we still feel like we've got... Well, we do. We have to hold the light. We hold it for ourselves as well. But the people are being guided to the truth now. I told you the bubble denial suits are coming off. Stars. Treat yourself. Reward your small victories. Oh, we do. We take victories, don't we, guys? Look at Netherlands. We love when that happened. When Jab Cinder got voted out. We do take small victories. They may not last very long, but we do enjoy a good victory here or there. Not many happen in Australia, I'm telling you that. But anyway, um, we do share in each other's victories here on my channel, don't we, guys? All right. Oh, thanks also for um, letting me know more music too, guys, on my music video. I heard they took some of yours away, some of you. Oh, my God. Talk about frustrating. But anyway, thanks for sharing that. It was nice to hear different kinds of music that people are into, isn't it? We're all different, aren't we? I'm getting the three hearts. Love yourself. Don't rely on others to make you happy. Very true. Very true. We've learned how to create our own happiness through Terra Bella, finding our oh, creativities, passions, ways to keep ourselves feeling alive inside. Um, let me just see if there's one more thing to close with this reading today. God, I'm getting that song. Who sings it? You better, you better, you bet. When I say I love you, I mean you better. You better, you better, you. You better cut your life. Or what is it? Or I will cut you like a knife. You better, you better, you bet. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting that song, but I am getting that song today. Um, You better bet your life. Hmm, that's a weird song. It's an oldie. Hang on, guys. Oh, I'm getting a song. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Oh, everybody get on the floor. Let's dance. Is that the song? Shake, shake, shake your booty. And we're not real good at dancing these days. Most of us with our awakening process seems to be causing a few problems. But, you know, we can still put on the music and have fun. Music's very important here. So keep shaking your booty the best that you can. <laughs> Even if you're suffering and in pain. And trust that people are waking up. Um, let me see if there's one more thing. Hang on a tech. Oh, for some reason, they give me this Elton John song. And it's that blue eyes, baby's got blue eyes. And she's alone again. What's that song? Is it called Blue Eyes? I don't know. Let me see if there's one more song, guys, because that's just a weird song. Oh, we're getting some weird music today. Nothing new there, though, is it, guys? Oh, of course, I've got to get this song by Elton John called Crocodile Rock. Remember when Rock was young, me and Susie had so much fun. We were dancing to the Crocodile Rock. Rocking a baby to the Crocodile Rock. Well, is that the... well anyway, we're going to finish with that song today um, for some reason. Um, I guess it's just keep your music vibes up, guys. And, and look, the clearest message I got from all of this today was to trust. Trust that this is happening, guys, because it is is oh it's so hard isn't it well i hope that helped you guys a little bit i know we're all struggling a lot with these things look i'll actually do a prediction reading next so look out for that as well but i thought maybe just a little bit of food for thought through the cards that we have got to trust because it ain't easy is it and we are a little bit troubled by it all so mm. so take care guys look have a wonderful weekend i'll come on and do my 
prediction video now. And mm, keep smiling, keep playing the music to the Crocodile Rock. <laughs> That's such a fun song, isn't it? I do love it. All right, hit the like button, subscribe, guys. Please feel free to comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.